Hello, YouTube. I'm back with another value village purchase. And this one is an Acer Aspire. And it's pretty good, actually. It's in pretty good shape. There's not a lot of wear on the keyboard. Of course, it's a, the old French Canadian keyboard, so people in Europe would like this, but I'm more accustomed to the US layout. But what I've discovered is all you really need to do is get a program called, um, I think it's called um, Sharp Key. I recommend that one and you can remap this to match this and then you're not accidentally hitting the wrong key when you're trying to shift that's about the only key on this keyboard that's really awkward I mean I'm not a big fan of this either but you know I can live with it yeah this is a nice keyboard or not just not like a nice keyboard, but a nice, a nice uh, laptop. And what's nice about it too is look at the size of that, that uh, touchpad. Very nice. It's almost as big as a Apple keep uh, mouse pad. But in fairness, Apple does do a better job on their on their. Uh, touchpads, I must admit, but this is nothing to be ashamed of, this one. And this guy also has a, an i5 with a NVIDIA GeForce 840M graphics, so it's actually pretty a, a real performer, really, in that particular regard. Now let's swing over to the side here. Let's take a look what we can see. Well, not very clearly, but you can see that there's a USB and uh, you got your headphone, but it's really hard for me to, for you to see that. But there's a headphone jack there. You got your HDMI, you got your uh, Ethernet, and you've got yourself a VGA for extension to another uh, external monitor. You got some nice venting, and it's nice and cool. So it seems to run fine that way. You got a you got a SD card slot, a couple of light indicators there, and that's about it for the front swing over to this side and we got a couple more USBs and no optical drive so this is that transition period when they're getting rid of some things that really weren't of much use um, as time progressed so this thing we can start looking at some of the some of the stuff here uh, it has. Just give me a second here. I'm just going to adjust the sound here. There we go. Alright. So, yeah, so this guy has some interesting, uh, you know, some just interesting stuff. Sorry, I'm getting really is loud. a little better. All right, so I'm not having to compete with the background noise here. So yeah, so this thing's got some pretty good specs, in my opinion, for this, you know, it, it's a 2014 computer, let's be honest. So maybe it was, you know, made in 20, maybe it was, it was manufactured in 2015, but it's, you know, the processor and RAM and stuff is roughly that time period. So let's take a look at some of the aspects of this thing. So it does have a Broadwell i5 
CPU. It's got uh, two cores with four threads, so you know, it runs pretty decent that way. It's got the full complement of all the uh, instruction sets. And you know, 14 nanom nanometer process isn't bad. Okay, it's got lots of cache. The motherboard is an Acer one designed for the Broadwell chip. So that's fine. Inside uh, BIOS, so you know, kind of standard. And like I said, it's from 20, it's from 2014 as the as the BIOS date will bear. It has DDR3, 12 gigabytes running dual at about 800 megahertz. And uh, yeah, good stuff. Uh, the first stick is, it is uh, DDR3 800, eight gigabytes. And like I said, manufacturer year is 2014. So I think it's pretty, you know, it's got a pretty good complement of, of uh, memory for, for that year. So the next uh, stick of a uh, module of memory is four gigabytes at, again, same manufacturer, Samsung, same frequency and everything else. So it's good there. And for graphics, it has an HD um, Intel 5500, but impressively, it also has the NVIDIA, NVIDIA GeForce 840M um, graphics built into it, which is nice. And it has a uh, memory of two gigabit, hit two gigabytes. So, you know, it's got its own dedicated uh, kind of uh, discrete graphics built into it that uh, has uh, two gigabytes of dedicated RAM. We know it's dedicated RAM because it tells us it's Hynix and the other one was Samsung. So yeah, it's pretty good. And you know, I think it'll, it'll run, you know, the graphics that I do on these kind of computers pretty well. So here's some more, a little bit more info about the system. Running Windows 10, 64-bit. Uh, we went through the CPU and that sort of stuff. Here's the graphics info there and, the, and what the resolution is and all that stuff. It's got a, um, a one terabyte uh, Toshiba hard drive. All the temperatures are good, 34, 33, 30. No optical drive, and it's running real tech, so that's pretty typical of this sort of computer of this time frame. So, yeah, nice little system. And I always like to look at crystal disk info to get any kind of warnings. So we can see it is not the fastest, uh, hard drive and I, certainly I could put a um, SSD in there but as far as hard drives go you know it's been running 104 days so you know not bad uh, usage even and even if I put a you know a SSD in here for this kind of a system the biggest improvement that would make is on the startup um, generally speaking, that's the big problem is the startup because um, all the um, virus scan and sending messages to the mothership and all that sort of thing that goes on with Windows and Windows 10, it really slows things down. But once it gets through all that garbage, it actually runs fairly quickly. It isn't a, a big issue. So there's the info there. No problems. It's all good. Running at a good temperature. And to finish off my uh, this whole little re 
review, we're going to look at the Nova Bench scores. So it's going to earn the Nova Bench, and let's see what we get here. So we got floating point operations going on here, and uh, that's of course CPU stuff. So it's checking out the CPU, and it seems to be flying along pretty good there. RAM is fine, transferring over. And here is the 3D graphics. What are we looking at here? Oh yeah, we're getting good frame rates there. Nice. So definitely this thing is going to do better in the graphics department than a lot of my systems because of the uh, NVIDIA graphics. So there you have it, 667. So yeah, does okay with the RAM, CPU score is good, and yeah, the graphics score was 72 with on average 233. Uh, FPS for the 3D, gra uh, 3D graphics and uh, the hardware score in general, which is usually in the, the hard drive and uh, motherboard uh, score is um, 52. So, so, you know, not bad. So overall, we're in the, uh, you know, the mid 600s. For my systems, the kind of stuff that I pick up at Value Village, this is an excellent uh, system. I was very tempted to uh, to get a desktop uh, Lenovo system they had there for 25 bucks, and it looked like it was a complete with uh, one terabyte hard drive, and um, it looked like it was from 2015, 2016, thereabouts. So that was very, very tempting, but. I don't have room for a desktop, but I always have room for a laptop. So that's what I got today, or not today, but on Friday. So yeah, I've been just doing a little bit of refurb for it. So anyway, it's, you know, it's running good. Um, it had the factory restall or reinstall or re, uh, restore thing. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I would say that, you know, this was a, a win. This one was 30 bucks, but it also came with the power supply. So, or the power adapter. So that was kind of sweet um, having that with it for that amount. So I thought it was good. I looked at eBay and it's way lower than anything on eBay. Uh, maybe Facebook Marketplace, I might have been able to find something like this, but then, you know, you run around and I like to test things out while I'm at Value Village and this thing I could boot it up, make sure it had a, you know, running uh, OS, had the, everything seemed to be working properly. And uh, I always like it when they, when you can just um, do a factory reset on the thing. So anyway, there you go. That's my latest uh, laptop acquisition. I mean, I'm always game for, you know, uh, a ThinkPad or something like that when it shows up, but you know, I take what I can get because it's random. It's a rando kind of thing that you never know what you're going to get. So that's it, guys. That's going to be my video for today. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, stay tuned. I'm sure I'll be digging up another one of my laptops that I've found at Value Village or one of my desktops, maybe. And I'll show you something that I've cooked up and... And uh, we can look at the specs on it, take it out for a spin. Uh, typically, like I say, I'm not a big gamer, so um, you're not going to get a lot of information on, ga on the gaming capabilities of my systems. But, you know, the odd time I will run a, the, the odd game or I'll do maybe a little bit of um, video editing and stuff like that, which requires a bit of, you know, processing skills, or not skill, but processing, processing capabilities. So there you go, guys. I hope you're having a great Sunday, and I'll talk to you soon.